Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. Last time we started out the game and made our way to the first chapter's dungeon area, I guess, this place here. It's called Snake Mouth Den, and we're about to head on in. I really like the music. There is much more light here. This room must be quite near the cracked ceiling. What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Uh-huh. Hey, Kabu. Do you really have to comment on every small thing? I... I'm sorry. H hey, don't look so sad. Uh, how about this? If I want to know more about where we are, or about something or someone near us, I'll just tap minus. Sounds good? Very well. I'll make sure to have information at hand for when you do. Cool. Now, let's keep going. Okay, so we've just unlocked the ability to tattle. Uh... Or, I guess, Spy? I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't have a name. In um, Paper Mario, it's called Tattle, and it's the same ability you use in Battle to find out about enemies. Uh, but the Battle ability is called Spy, and in this game it doesn't, it's does not called that. Snake Mouth then is quite dangerous, but this room is quite cozy. Let's go before you jinx it. That was me pressing the minus button. <laughs> do 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 Ooh, purple. Uh, I think we want... Uh, we can swap our order with X like I'm doing now. We can also just have the, the characters work in the opposite order by pressing B. Uh, so we can keep B in the front and have Kabu do stuff first if we wish. Like so. Oh. I was hoping to spy on it with the next turn, but it only had four health. Possibly even three, I don't remember. Some enemies have defense, which reduces the power of your attacks. Sharp horns ignore some defense, and even flip certain enemies, negating defense entirely. Yeah, um, the enemy we just flipped was one of those. Uh, it's pretty strong against... It's pretty pretty well defended for our current, like, attack ability, but we can flip it over with Kabu's horn to easily damage it. Over there, there's Mushroom. It's ours now. <laughs> The bridge seems to be out. How are we gonna cross? Well, that's it. Game over. Let's go back. Wait, V, hold on. It's too soon to give up. There must be a way. Duh, I was kidding, you know? Look over there. It's one of those ancient switches. We just need to hit it. And you can just fly over to it, right? That's too much effort. I've got a better plan. My mighty beamerang. I just need to get in front with X and press B to throw it. That again? I will trust you with this then. Give it your best shot. So this is where, um, in 1.0.5 you unlocked the beamerang. You couldn't use it until this scene. <laughs> well done, V. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Um, yeah, of course. You just as planned. Let's continue. I'm glad to have a reliable partner. Super reliable. He is so cute. Look at that little bee. Little, little fluffy bee. Seems to be broken. Yeah, the switch doesn't actually do anything. You have to do what we just did. <laughs> Okay, I now know they have about four health, so if I... Uh, oops. Uh, that wasn't what I had in mind. Yeah, um, if an enemy runs into you, they can get a first strike. <sighs> uh, let me see here. Let's have V spy on the inchy ass. Inner chass? Oops. Yeah, if you mess up, mess up the action command, then you just don't get the information at all. It's pretty annoying. Uh, we might need to go back and heal after this. I still haven't got the handle on that command. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's try spying again. Oh, we can't swap order. Uh, we may have a problem. 
There we go. What's up with this thing? It's like a spiky pill bug. Its armor is really strong, so I can barely hurt it. I bet Kabu can flip it over, though. Uh... Yeah, hard mode is hard. <laughs> um... Okay, we need to put V in the front in order to damage it at all. Let's see how we go here. See, it does one damage. That's with the plus one from being in the front. So, yeah. Two defenses a lot. And we don't have any, like, uh, restoring people from, like, being knocked out items yet, so we're gonna have to just do it this way. Hard mode is hard. There we go. We're about to level up, which is helpful. I'm probably gonna spread the level up bonuses pretty evenly, uh, once we get- start getting them. Leave this place, for beyond this point lies great danger. We have already lost one of ours to this wretched place. Curses, this coziness was an illusion. Our path won't be easy, that much is for sure. No place full of treasure's ever been safe. So many have fallen looking for riches. Let's find the treasure quickly, so no one else ventures in here. I will do this for them. Logbook updated. Uh, I think that means we just got... Yeah, explorer's message. Lost to what? How did it happen? The ominous letter left behind for future explorers raises more questions than it answers. But one thing is for sure, it is not a prank, not meant to be taken lightly. All who read it and proceed have been rightfully warned. This game is good. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back and heal, uh, using that crystal we saw earlier. Uh, and then we're gonna proceed further into Snake Mouth. Uh, we've taken heed of the warning and we're going to disregard it. Can we go back there? I don't remember. I think that's just... yeah, that's just decorative. Okay. Save complete. Okay, so we've saved, we've also healed. As you can see, we have full health again. Some of the enemies do respawn. I'm not sure what it is that sets that off. Uh, We'll probably just wander around them. You can just avoid enemies, much like in Paper Mario, so... I'm not gonna worry too much about fighting stuff we already fought. Even though we could for a bit more experience, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. We've reached a dead end. But it's ancient ruins, so not really. Right, if we leave no stone unturned, we will open a path. <laughs> yeah, they know how ancient ruins work. Okay, so first we'll take out this inner chest over here. Is that what it's called? I think that's right. Um, hmm. Hmm, let's, okay, let's start by flipping the inner chest. Like so. Then V can attack it. For three damage, which takes it out. Then V can attack again. To bring this guy down. I still don't know the timing on that particular block. I was blocking the inner chest, okay, but I can't block the seedling. Which is like the weakest enemy in the game. Anyway, we leveled up. So leveling up, it fills your health and or HP and TP completely. Uh, it also lets you pick one boost. You can have health, you can have teamwork, or you can have metal points. Uh, this is pretty much exactly like in Paper Mario, except that the health points are spread out between the team members, so you get one each instead of getting an upgrade, like an upgrade of five to the one person's health. Uh, we're gonna go with health first, and then probably teamwork, and then metal, and just keep going like that. So health, we, health it is. Uh, occasionally, like, not at all, not at all level up, you sometimes learn extra stuff. V learn secret stash this level up. Um, that's not true of all level ups, but a lot of them you will get extra bonuses, which is nice. Anyway, the actual puzzle we're supposed to do here, we need to bring ourselves up here. What we want to do is get these rocks, uh, so we can... As you can see, when you've got something, you can knock around using the horn. You get this little arrow, gives you a bit of a hint as to where it'll go. Which I think is nice, given it's, you know, a three-dimensional space that you're moving things around in. Mushroom. A mushroom? What? We did all this for that? Seriously? It wasn't even a rare item. Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom. 
Who designed this place? I will sting them in the face. I'll tear the place down. Come now, V. Unfortunate as it may be, let's pick it up and start looking again. Grrr. Interesting note here. Yeah, you can't pick up the mushroom with the beam ring. Even though we picked up a mushroom with the beam ring earlier. The reason for that... You found a mushroom. It's the same as the one we've already got. Is that this is about to happen. Huh? What? Yeah! Phew, that was close. <laughs> Kabu, are you okay? <laughs> I guess he is. Hmm. This is the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look of that place. But I'm his reliable teammate. I'm gonna regret this. <gasps> the door's opened. The door's opening there is not going to be relevant for a long time. <laughs> no rush, I can wait. Oh, I am lucky this mushroom broke my fall. I would have carried you, but you seem really heavy. I assure you I am lighter than I seem. Uh-huh. Anyways, this place is really creepy. I must agree. There doesn't seem to be a way back up for me. We will have to look around. Let's be careful, okay? You were almost a goner. We're trapped. Well, I am. How shameful to make V come to such a dangerous place. Look, I can take care of myself. Don't we regret coming with you? Sorry, I shouldn't underestimate- un sorry, undermine your choice. Let's press forward. We are, in fact, stuck down here for the time being. Uh, we can't get back up. Which is why they've given us another save rock here we can use to heal. Okay. <gasps> Yikes! Is that a moth? By the Queen, what a terrible fate. A moment of silence and solidarity for a fallen explorer. Wait! He's alive! Quick, we must free him! Okay, I'm just gonna see if the beam ring can cut through web. I'll make sure there are no others survive. V, watch out! Ah, uh, ah, uh, a uh, spider! How could a beast so huge sneak up on us? Carb, we've gotta run! Treasure ain't worth this! It's not that, we can't abandon this poor moth to his fate. I... I... V! V, wait! Curses. This has to be some cruel irony. However, I can't give up, even if I'm alone. Yeah, you can't win this fight. Y you just have to fight the spider until the game decides you don't have to. Pretty easy to block is a good thing though. It is stronger than it looks. Crud, it's too high up. If only V was here. Must I really sit here and do nothing? The answer is yes, you actually have to pick do nothing. It, it's too much by myself after all. Everyone, I... I failed. You wasted your hopes on me. V? Look, I... By the holy jaws of the Queen V, you left me to my fate. You are vile. Hey, I was gonna apologize and I came back, right? You pushed me away from the web, but I still left, so I'm... I will properly scold you later. The situation is dire, but I've got a plan. We will attack the web holding the moth while battling the spider. And we bail when we free him? Precisely. Except we'll run together this time, without leaving anyone behind. I apologised already. 
here it comes. Let's do this. Can't actually win this fight either. Uh, you can knock the spider down because V is here now, but we're not going to. We're just gonna focus on the web. We did it. Be gone, wretched beast. Kabu, I'm done here. Well done. Let's get out of here. Leave us alone already, monster. Gee, glad it's too fat to come in here. Um, Kabu, sorry for running away. <sighs> Very well, you were forgiven, V. It was understandable. Took you long enough. Most people will be crying at getting rescued. Let's turn over a new leaf, V. This moth's our priority. You're awake. What the? Hey, you okay? You hit your head? Could this moth be speaking in an ancient tongue? Perhaps he of the, he's of the fabled tribes lurking underground. N n no. We can speak Bugnish. Do you need, like, a minute? No. We are fine now. Thank goodness, she had us quite worried. Where are we? Where is the spider? Right, let's get you up to speed. Talkie doggy dog. Truly? It seems we owe our life to you, V. Seriously? No big deal. It sucks that we're trapped, though. Were you looking for treasure as well, alongside fellow explorers? Uh, what's your name? Leaf is fine. And somewhat. A scouting mission, in fact. You've got some luck to be alive. Did you learn anything scouting about the artifact? Artifact? If it is here, it's probably ahead. If we work together, we will surely find both it and the exit. We have little choice. We will accompany you. Can you fight? Not really part of scouting. Seriously? You came into this place without knowing how to fight? Make sure to stay behind us so we can protect you. How reassuring. Okay, we spent too much time here. Let's look for the exit. Okay, Leaf is in our party now. And we got a logbook entry. The underground area of Snake Mouth Den has been con completely consumed by fungi. The remains of explorers and ancient bugs roam this place like puppets controlled by their alien hosts. And yet, the desire for riches keeps bringing explorers back. Is there more? No, okay. It said read more, but I wasn't sure what that would do. Yep, let's save. Okay, so now we have three party members, sort of. Um, Leaf is going to follow us around like this. He won't help in battle yet. Sorry, they won't help in battle yet. I know the game says he, but come on. <laughs> what a weird tablet. It's written in an even weirder language. It seems to be ancient script. Hmm, these letters look familiar to us. We should be able to decipher it. Let us check it again. You can switch your party order during battle using the strategy flower. Whoever is in front receives a bonus to attacking power. In return, said person is targeted more, by en more often by enemies. You can't switch if someone has exhausted all their turns. Okay, we're gonna do that, then we're gonna spy. Eep, that ant is possessed! No way! That's just a story the queen tells kids to scare them. This is too creepy. 
I'm gonna take it out. Uh, this zombie ant would normally have no defense. It only has defense because we have hard mode turned on. Uh, which does make this fight harder than it otherwise would be. There we go. Bada 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 bada. Actually, I think I want Leaf in front. Leaf's horn has a little bit of defense pissing. So he will do a little more damage. Doesn't really make a difference, but you know. Oh god, there's two of them. Well, we can flip one. It's a good start. Uh, okay, and then we'll leave. Alright, um, if you take multiple turns with the same character, uh, like I just did with V, you do one point less damage each time. Uh, so it goes down from 3 damage to 2, and so the 2 defense cancels it back to 0. Da, 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 da. Provided your base attack is good enough, that uh, dropping effect doesn't really impact you too badly, but our base attack is pretty bad this early in the game. Crystal Berry for us. Pressing B in battle allows you to change who is currently acting without changing the party order. Each party member has different ways of attacking and different reaches for their attacks and skills. Mind who is currently attacking to not waste actions on the wrong enemy. This room seems surprisingly straightforward. No issues here, I need a break from all the death traps. It's a good chance to stretch our legs. Leaf, if you need to take a break, let us know. V will carry you. That is not happening. Oh, the fatigue, it kicks in. I said it's not happening. <laughs> I hadn't seen that before, that's really funny. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the save crystal again, just because we're on hard mode, we're taking a decent amount of damage from normal enemies, so... It's good to hit the crystal every now and then to top up on our health. We're gonna cut down all of these just in case they have berries and, or something in them. I think most of them are empty, but you know, it's worth looking. Ooh, okay. Um. Hmm. That's three damage. Uh, if I throw the beamerang at it, let me do one damage, but if I give the turn back to- Oh, I haven't got turn relay yet. Uh, you get an option in the menu that lets you uh, pass your turn to another character, if you, and then they can attack again instead. But I haven't got it yet, so I can't do that. Um, Alright. Well, I can do that. Uh, but then if I do it again to either of them, it just won't do any damage, right? Yeah. That's not good. As you can see, yeah, this game is hard in hard mode. <laughs> we found an HP plus medal. Increases an ally's HP by two. Nice. Do, do, do. 
Uh, let's put Carbo in the front, just because he's got more health, a bit tankier. Ooh. Ooh, that didn't start well. Okay, it's just one enemy though, so we should be fine. Flip it for two, then we can do two more damage with V in the back there. Easy peasy. Hitting an enemy outside of battle will stun it for a short amount of time. Entering a battle while an enemy is stunned grants one more action to the party leader. Yeah, I've done that a couple of times already because I already knew about it, but yeah, it's kind of this game's equivalent of a first strike. But you can use it for like items and stuff as well as actually first striking. There we go. Um, I happen to know that we should go and heal again before we go up there. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> We're taking damage pretty quickly. Um. It might make sense to only put on hard mode for the bosses, but then we might not have as much resources to take on the bosses because the hard mode badge does buff the amount of experience and stuff you get from regular battles too. Booping the do 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 Nice work, everyone. Leaf, watch out! What the heck? By the great ancestors, what kind of sorcery is that? We... are... Un are unsure? This is new. You seriously expect us to believe that? We mean it, it's the truth. Magic's no common feat, there are less than ten known sorcerers in history. You're not some criminal with a huge bounty, are you? You seriously believe that? We will talk later. I take it you can fight now? We'll try. Wait, everyone. Now that we're a trio, let me share a useful technique. With turn relay, picked from the colourful flower, one of us can lend our turn to another. How is that useful? It sounds tedious. Well, for example, we could let V attack twice to knock down flying enemies. Heh, <laughs> you should let me attack three times, I'll take them all on. You shouldn't abuse it like that, though. The exhaustion will reduce your attack power by one every time you act in a round. Err, fine. Well, it sounds mildly useful. We'll try it out. Now, on your guard. Uh, let me think here. Do we have... Yes, we already have Icefall. Let's use Icefall. Yeah, at least Ice Magic is really good against multiple enemies. <laughs> oh my goodness. That should take out that one entirely. We want to spy on one of them so that we have them in our codex. By the Queen. What an abomination. I cannot hurt this beast while it is airborne. V, would you lend me your strength? Okay, the ice actually stopped it from um, attacking, so we can just hit it a couple more times and we're good. Didn't really need to heal before this fight after all, but mm, better safe than sorry. <laughs> Goodness, that magic isn't a joke. It's pretty cool. If you truly couldn't do it before, this den is hiding more secrets than I first thought. Everything is just too suspicious. I don't believe Leaf yet. We're telling the truth. If we had ice magic, that accursed spider wouldn't have caught us. I say, let's focus on getting out alive. We collect our thoughts when we're safe. Very well. If you need us to freeze anything, press B while we are leading. I guess it's fine for now. Onward, I can almost smell the treasure. So yeah, uh, Leaf is now an official party member. Uh, we can put them in the front if we want, and they can do icy things. I'm gonna leave uh, V in the front for the most part, because I think she's adorable. Oh, too many items, huh? Uh, Alright, let's just eat one of our crunchy leaves, because now we all have full health. Uh, I guess we'll eat one of our honey drops. There we go. And then pick up the crunchy leaf. There we go. 
frozen enemies can't be stunned, but can be climbed on or used to hold switches. So yeah, um, it turns them into a block, you can move the block around to put it on on ledges and stuff and make it press things, it's, it's pretty handy. Uh, but Leaf's Ice can't be used as a first strike mechanism, which is a little bit annoying. Eep! It's not funny, I'm all soaked now. S sorry V, I couldn't help it. It seems the ceiling's dripping. Ugh, why is there so much water in here? Under us? Above us? It doesn't make sense. Hmm, this is good though. What do you mean? If it's water... Then it can be frozen. Impressive! If you can do that, it opens a lot of options for us. I bet I can push them with my horn as well. That's pretty cool, Leaf. Mm-hmm. Enemies, the water around us, even though they seem like obstacles, we can exploit them for our own benefit. Let's give your ice magic a try on all we can find. Do, 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 do. Is there anything hidden in here? Just some money. Still good to have money though. Do, 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 do. The craftsmanship on this statue is pretty good, compared to everything else at least. That it is. It's a shame this monument outlived its creators. Yeah, you only hear about roaches in folk tales nowadays. Pardon? When did the roaches disappear? A bit before I was born, I think. So, so pretty recently? Hey! It was indeed quite a recent event. No one knows for sure the how or why, however. This is depressing talk. We should really find a way out. This can't be right. An old statue. Sure is. not block that very well at all. It's only one like round of poison, but yeah, that did not I didn't time that the way I was supposed to. <laughs> uh, we're at about half an hour. There's a save point just up ahead, so I'm just gonna continue on a little bit further. <laughs> A little bit of platforming to do here. It's not too tricky. There we go. And here's the save crystal. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. Next time we're gonna open this big old door and hopefully make our way out of Snake Mouth Den. But for now, that's all we're doing. <laughs> I'll I'll check the check the catalog first. Hang on. This room is gigantic. Indeed, it's hard to know where to go. What in doubt? Go left. No way. Right is right. Given the way this cave has been laid out, I believe we'll have to go both ways. <sighs> what a drag. No joke, let's rest up and then explore some more. So yeah, to open the door we have to go over there and we have to go over there. But we'll do that next time. Oh hang on, there's a new discovery as well, wasn't there? The Roaches Village, yeah. Supposedly the now missing roaches lived in Snake Mouth Den's underground, but with all the flooding and monsters it's difficult to imagine settling down here. Did some, some horrible disaster strike them? What could be the reason for the state of these structures? I would like to say thank you. I know I just did it, but I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, next time we will probably finish Snake Mouth Den. We're fairly close to the end at this point. Um, but maybe not, you know. Depends on how slowly I go and how much flavor text I stop to read. <laughs> That's it for now, though. Bye!